is the 15th of the 7th, 2011. Uh, I have some nuclear news for you off the NRC website, the Advent Notification Report Forum, uh, Salem, New Jersey. Unusual event has been declared based on reactor coolant leak greater than 10 GPM. At 2053 on July 14, 2011, Salem Unit No. 2 declared an unusual event due to reactor coolant system leaking greater than 10 gallons per minute while performing, while performing a monthly emergency core cooling system vent of the high head safety injection piping and a monitor valve was opened and the leak developed on the high head piping greater than 10 gallons per minute. The leak rate was approximately 10 to 15 gallons per minute as reported. Uh, the leak was terminated, then uh, the motor operator valve was closed. The time of the leak was about six minutes. And the updates going uh, is the, in addition, since the leakage from, from the weld of the high head charge safety injection piping exceeded all, exceeding the analyzed limit for the ESF leakage outside containment, this event is also being reported in accordance with uh, blah 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 in a condition that prevents the ability of magnitude consequences of the accident. Salem unit number two is currently at 27% and reducing power. They're shutting down number two uh, reactor because of this event. Out of uh, Fort Calhoun, Nebraska, we have an unusual event declared today. The licensee declared the unusual event due to indications that a potentially dangerous contraband has been introduced into the protected area. After further investigation, the licensee determined that the indicated of contraband was due to an inter incorrect interpretation of screening and equipment imaging. The licensee exceeded the, exceeded the unusual event declared at 1942 CDT. Uh, they continue to investigate the circumstances leading to this event. Now, they're not uh, listing what this um, potentially dangerous contraband was, um, but there is an, an, yet another unusual event in uh, Fort Calhoun, Nebraska nuclear power plants. Uh, power reactor, Palo Verde, Arizona. News release regarding arrest of illegal immigrant working at Palo Verde. Yeah, big homeland security going on in our nuclear power plants, huh? Got illegals working down in Arizona. The following event description is based on information currently available. Uh, if, through subsequent reviews of this event, additional information is identified that this patent to this event or alters information being provided at this time, a follow-up and notification will be made. Blah, blah, blah. This event was being reported as newsworthy concern to the public under uh, code blah blah blah. The Palo Verde Nuclear Generating Station was notified at the Marsipia County Sheriff's Office issued a news release at 1411 on July 14, 2011 regarding entrance to the PV site properly by an individual who MCSO alleged to be an undocumented immigrant. The individual had entered Palo Verde's security owner control area on July 13th, but was not granted access to the site's protected area surrounding the three units and independent spent fuel storage installation. In insane. And, uh, Three Mile Island, Pennsylvania, at about 1319 on July 14th, 2011, Dolphin County 911 was advised by a local resident that siren number 121 sounded for three minutes. Uh, they contacted the TMI main control room to inform Exelon of the invert siren audication about uh, 1350. Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency later notified the TMI main control room the same issues. This notification is being made in accordance with blah 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 because offsite agencies were notified regarding the inverted action and part of the public notification system. Siren maintenance was, not was notified and is troubleshooting the incident. So we have alarms going off at Three Mile Island with no, they don't know why, they're just going off. And on 
a lighter note, Japan is safe for visitors again. Japan is now urging visitors to return to the country after an earthquake and tsunami damaged the country's Fukushima nuclear power plant back in March, causing widespread disruption. The tourism officials for the Pacific Asia have issued a statement reassuring potential visitors that the, county, that the country that Japan is now perfectly safe to visit with the country returning to normal life except for the immediate area surrounding the damaged Fukushima power plant. The Pacific Asia Travel Association, the PT, PATA, said that almost all of Japan is now functioning as normal and visitors should not be put off booking Japan holidays. Uh, I will provide the link to that story as well. I just wanted to put a heads up, we do have some nuclear events taking place today. Uh, provide the links to those and enjoy what you can everybody. Thanks.